Hey Aries and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your November 2020 love reading. Not all messages will apply to you so please just take what fits. This is for entertainment purposes only intended for those 18 years of age and older. So let's see what you guys got going on in love in November. It says love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. One more. Attraction. You attract romance by enjoying the moment fully. Alright. Let's start with... Let's start with this deck. Alright. Aries. Your current situation that you are involved in. What is Aries, Aries currently dealing with? In love. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus also. I'm not sure if I said that or not. Aries. All right. There we go. Your current situation, rebirth. Beautiful. Your challenge to this is the Five of Shields. Your future influences, the father. Oops. Your past influences is the two of shields. Your recent past. Oops. Wait a minute. I got this all messed up. Okay. There we go. Your recent past is the queen of shields. Your future events is the Page of Wands. Let's see. I'm trying to get it so you can see all the cards in the camera here. All right. How you affect the world is the King of Wands. How the world affects you is the Five of Wands in reverse. Your hopes and fears is the Ten of Swords, and your outcome is the Shadow in Reverse. Justice is your, uh, what you don't see coming. Okay. <clears throat> Aries, there's a lot of fire energy here. Fire and, um, Earth. You're coming out of a difficult time. You could you could have um, like your self esteem is kind of low. Your value you're not seeing the total value because somebody did hurt you. Somebody did walk away from you. Somebody did keep you from what was yours or keep you from feeling like you were involved. Somebody um, you know you felt alone even though you were in the same room with this person. Like they were keeping they were keeping any warmth from you. Let's see why this is a challenge of Five of Pentacles. You know, seeing your worth, your value. Yeah, there was secrets here. Somebody hid things from you. But you're coming out of that. Your current situation is you are currently going through the death process. You are being reborn. You're seeing the light of things. You're going with the flow of what the universe is putting you in. And you have the help of the divine behind you. This full moon we had on October 31st is starting a new chapter for you. Starting a new... Um, starting a new road for you to follow. Wow, Seven of Wands, beautiful. So now, now you're fighting to move forward. You're fighting to move past this person or this situation that made you feel incomplete, that made you feel like you weren't valued, made you feel like you were left out in the cold. Your future influences is the emperor. So you are getting on the right path. You are moving in the direction that you're meant to meant to be. Let's see what this father is all about. The Knight of Cups in reverse and the Eight of Cups. Yeah. You were dealing with somebody who was very stubborn, um, who was not offering their love. You're moving towards somebody who is full of love that will give you that love that you need. You're leaving behind the difficultness. You're leaving behind somebody who did not invest their emotions in this connection. Um, and that's, you know, that's a very 
very positive move in your part. There could have been an, an explosion, like a, you know, a fight between the two of you. And then it, like, you've seen the truth of the matter. With that full feel, you uh, release this person and are getting out of that lack um, situation that you are in. With your past influences, you had the two of shields. So somebody was not giving you their full attention. They were not investing fully in the connection. Um, and you were going through the cycle over and over and over again. Um, could have been with the earth sign. That's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, but... Yeah. You, in the past, this started out very quickly. It was everything you had wanted. You thought this person... Um, you know, was going to be for the long term, but you are moving forward away from this person or away from the th way things used to be. Um, when you love yourself first, when you don't stand for being treated like that, like being treated as an option, uh, you're most definitely going to move towards a better situation for yourself. In the recent past, you have the Queen of Shields. You have been, you were nurturing and loving this connection, you were trying to keep it afloat, yeah, and it just caused you a lot of stress, a lot of heartache. Um, for some of you, you could have left a marriage or waiting for somebody to leave a marriage. In your future events, you do have some passionate communication coming your way that's going to bring a lot of excitement, a lot of, um, a lot of enlightenment your way. Yeah, and it's going to help you get over this broken heart. Um, this communication is something that you need either for closure or something that's coming for you um, that's going to give you hope to help you get over that heartache. How you affect the world is you are a take action type of person. Wow, look at that. You want a fair and balanced relationship. You want something that's going to make you happy. You want something that is equal give and take, not you give and they take um, type of relationship. You could own your own business, but you're very passionate about doing things in the right way, like having things equal and fair like they should be. How the world affects you is the five of wands. There's been a lot of extra noise. There's been a lot of extra, like a lot of conflict in your past, and you're ready to put that away. You're ready to live in your heart space. You're ready to go after this ten of cups, and you're no longer um, letting that affect you. You're getting your emotions in check. Um, and you're going to move forward and find something or someone that um, you can fully give to and they'll fully return the, the, you know, the energy back to you. In your fears and hopes, you have the Ten of Swords. So you're hoping you can get over this betrayal, though in the back of your mind you fear it's going to happen again. Um, this is the end of a cycle for you, though. It's not going to happen um, like that again. Yeah, this is the end. It's over. It's done. The tower wipes away what you need taken out of your life and it brings you towards healing. You are riding that chariot towards the star of healing. And your outcome is you are getting out of this devil energy. You are getting out of this connection that's it was obsessive and controlling. And you're breaking free from that. Yeah, you're you're letting it go. You're walking away from the cups that did not serve you and you're walking towards something with the two of cups. You're walking towards something that is going to be oops Something that is going to be fair and balanced. What you don't see coming, there could be a divorce for some of you, but this is um, someone that's coming in that is going to be what you want, what you need. You have justice here twice. Why is justice here as what they don't see coming? Yeah, the Queen of Wands. Look at that. Passionate, connective. You are very connected to the divine. You know this is coming for some of you. <clears throat> but you just need to enjoy the moment, know your value, know your worth, love on yourself, and what you need is going to come to you. The Queen of Wands is very confident. She knows what's going on. She doesn't worry about what other people think of her. She doesn't worry about what's coming next. She just sits in her throne and is that awesome being, and it attracts. What the world sees of you, they see you as this person, and that is going to attract in something balanced and fair and loving for you. Um, Aries, in the month of November, somebody new is coming in uh, for the majority of you. Let's get one more romance card for what's coming in November. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy 
and go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So this is what's coming in November after you do this. After you um, practice this, you do have new love coming in. And it is going to be very romantic, but letting go of this, of the past, letting go of that fear, um, is going to help you to heal this broken heart. You are going to receive a message from somebody that's going to help you heal this. So very positive month. You've been, you're getting out of this negative cycle. You're walking away from the negativity. You're walking away from the secrets. You're walking away from the deceit. And you are then moving forward towards something that is fair and balanced and just. And a place where you can express yourself and your emotions. And it will be equally reciprocated. So, all right, Aries, I hope you guys have a beautiful November. I'll see you next time. God bless.